today. From the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, it's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. Sean Watson and the New Orleans Saints taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Giants and the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They come in 0-3 and in desperate, desperate need of a win. And as a team, you start to feel a little bit snake bit. They need something good to happen right now so they know it's not just them. They think they have the makings of a good team. On the other side of the field for the visiting... times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This will be fielded at the 17. And fights through one man. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. Leading the charge will be their quarterback. Always fun to watch, Deshaun Watson. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Well, a pretty move couldn't create much space down just beyond the 35. He's calling a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Four yards on the pickup. So, CD, here we are heading towards midseason, and it has not been the greatest of starts for the veteran running back. But he's had so much success in his career that many on social media, the morning talk shows, wondering if he's finally lost a step. What have you seen? Well, to me, I think he still could be a big-time runner. But you and I both know that it almost happens overnight where you lose that step. Now, there have been reports that this might be his final go-round, and you and I both know he doesn't want to go out this way because this has been a Hall of Fame career, and he wants to go out on top. But I do get the sense that Father Time is sat him down for a one-on-one. -on -one. So let's see how this thing wraps up. It's a gain of five. Brings up second. Second and five now. Watson. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. First touchdown on the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to...
Pinheiro to kick it off. to the 25. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way. As well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, here's Watson. Throwing right, and that's complete. Second touchdown on the season, and the Saints have taken the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen, took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield.
football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now we've got a giant player here, slow to get up after that last play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in hey, with baby, our referee. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. On first down, Watson. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. And an 11-yard touchdown. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. Now, he's having a nice little first half here, partner. It's a first half that leaves us anticipating. get set to take over. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Right back to him on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Big, big gainer there on the catch and run. 37 yards. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Saints 28, Giants 27. 
So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We'll start up at TIAA Stadium in Jacksonville, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. 35-21, the final score. From there, we head north to Minnesota. Check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium, and they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. The Packers looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. Finally, we'll save the biggest for last as we head to AT&T Stadium to see what's happening with the Cowboys at home in Arlington. And it was the visiting Atlanta Falcons who come in and get the victory. 28-23 was your final. In the game you're watching is Deshaun Watson, who was the star of the first half. His three touchdown passes have his guys out in front as we hand things back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Eddie Pinheiro, both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Fielded a couple yards into the end zone, and he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Deshaun Watson making his way back out. The focus of our players' spotlight. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. Pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What's that Why? you love? What's that oh, right? Four love? verts. Four verts. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Out of the gun, Watson. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. He may try and run for this. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right, his first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 38 yards on the scamper there. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Right back to him on first down. And he dropped it about the 11 after only a yard. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped that. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 
the 20-yard line. Deshaun Watson. Second. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Here's Watson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll move their lead up to four now. But looking at it from a defense. to take over. On first and 10, Watson. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And nearly picked off there. It would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Throwing again is Watson. And he comes back with one complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. shotgun now. Here's an inside give. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now they try the right side here. Able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Looked like they picked a heck of a time to run the counter. And we've been saying that in this great game of football probably since we started playing. Anytime you get guys thinking you're going to go one way and you hit back the opposite side, <laughs> it's a great chance. It can turn into the type of play we just saw there. A big game. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. It reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. From the red zone now, Watson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Number 84. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Down before he's brought 
right down at the three. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. And it's caught. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Another carry. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. is good. And that's going to tie the ball game at 34. 34. will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line from the shotgun now here's an inside deal this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two he was brought down offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage they almost feel like he's one of them and they really embrace him Finds an opening past the 40. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes after they dump that in, go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, he might reduce it, might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight ounces. Like Eight ounces is good. All right, just check it. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. So now this 
this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson and finding the tight end Hooper. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And spinning now. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Catch is made. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Two shy of the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And this is caught. He got that with one hand. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for They certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with it. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Escaping the pressure right. He can run. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown run. And the Saints have moved out in front. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now they try the right side here. 
And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. There's a 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. special not only did I get four quarters with you in this one I got some overtime a little whipped cream on top look at you trying to make this whole thing palatable I just want you to pay for my meal later hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted but how much fun was that we had that type of a game where we got us to overtime and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well what a game so for the Giants they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here and they'll